Hello, this is John from Revit for Interior Designers. Today we're going to tackle a problem posed by one of my students. How to create a standing seam metal roof in Revit. Let's get started. Here we have a sample project with a slopes roof. And to create a standing seam metal roof, I'm going to convert to a site view. I'm going to grab this roof for a second here. I'm going to duplicate it in this direction, let's say 100 feet. And then I'm going to return to a 3D view here and take a look at this copy. Uh, generic uh, roof. I'm going to convert it to this option here called the slope glazing. And you'll see instantly it turns into a plate of glass. This is part of the curtain wall system. If I select this, the second time, I'll go edit type. I'll duplicate this immediately, and I'll call it the JM standing seam roof. Hit OK. Here, I'll manipulate some of these options. These are all part of the, the curtain wall properties. And so because curtain walls can produce a grid of some sort with, with vertical members, this roof type allows me to build a standing seam pretty quickly. I can first establish. For example, a fixed number of these seams at a certain spacing. So, for example, here I will choose a fixed distance of one foot. And then here I can choose the mullions to become standing seams. So, for the time being, I will choose, for example, a, a two and a half by five inch uh, mullion from the list here. Hit OK and notice the roof changes. So, this is now my slope glazing standing seam roof. These members are too thick, much, much too big. And perhaps I don't like the color. So first, I will have to make a mullion that is the appropriate size. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minimize my menus here. At the very bottom of the screen here, there's a families folder in the project browser. I'm going to open that up. And under curtain wall mullions, I will find the rectangular mullion I'm using currently, which is this 2 and a half by 5 inch rectangular mullion. I'll right click and duplicate it. Give it a new name. So, for example, I'll call this again John Standing Seam. And then when I duplicate it here, by uh, not duplicate after it's duplicated, and I double click, I launch my menu of properties. And here I can make some adjustments to the size. For example, three inches tall. And from a center line, uh, how thick should it be on either side of the center line? I'll make it a quarter inch on one side, a quarter inch on the other side, which makes a full half inch thick mullion. And here the materials with this button here called the, the material browser that opens here. I'm going to look for aluminum. A little search here. And here are my materials available on my computer. These are the top are installed in my current project. So here I'll find this material here for my folders. I'll hit up arrow and copy it into my project. I will double click. And that becomes the material use for this option. I'll hit OK and notice that nothing happens. I've created a new rectangular mullion, but I haven't pushed that design into this roof type. So when I click on the roof type, I go edit type here. I can then here replace these mullions with the new ones. Standing seam, JM standing seam, do the last one there. I'll accept everything else, hit apply. And lo and behold, there are your standing seams. I'll also do one other thing. I'll click on this roof. I'll go into edit type and I will turn off the glass. Curtain wall panel is currently non-existent. I will make it none, hit apply. And now I just have seams. Just do that again. Current wall, none defined. That should give me Oh, I understand what's going on. And I click on this and go edit type. Here, this is sort of the default setting. None is actually is a panel. 
but you do have a choice here called empty. System panel glazed and none are actually the same thing, a default uh, piece of glass. So I'm going to choose none instead. Hit apply. And uh, there you go. Lo and behold, they all disappear. Then back in my top down view, let's say here, my site floor plan, I will grab this roof I built. Now, this has been cropped. So let's go to my properties and turn off the crop view. There's my roof. If I select it, I'm hitting tab to find the entire roof. I can then use the move command and move straight down under feet. I can then go to 3D view and I can see where it landed inside my existing roof. Now, if I click on this, you'll see inside and unfortunately below the roof is where those mullions landed. So what I'll do is I'll simply come into my top down view and I'll use one of these cross sections here and slice through that roof. The visual styles have been overridden in this top down view. So what I'll do is make a brand new standard. In fact, I'll cut it. I'll cut it through here. These are the default settings. I will grab that roof tab again, grab the entire roof system, and I'll use the move command and move it straight up. So it's just on top of the roof that's already here. When I go to 3D here, you'll see that it is sitting on top of the building. I can obviously navigate to one of the front elevations to uh, move it down further and adjust. So I'll take this section, for example, and I'll move it over to here. I'll flip it over and I'll use it as an elevation. So when I double click on that arrowhead, I can see here in the front elevation what's happening. There's the bottom of the, of the seam. There's the top of the roof. If I click on this, I'm only grab, grabbing one member, but if I hit tab, there it grabs the entire slope glazing system called JM standing seam. I'll use the move command. I'll grab that corner, move it down to this corner, and that should do it. You might need multiple uh, angles to look at your model to make the adjustment you're after. And there's a standing seam on the roof. I will, go and, I will then click on this roof, and notice here, sort of this generic roof here. Let's duplicate this again. I'll leave this original design alone. I'll call it JM. Uh, aluminum roof, perhaps red. And then under the structure here, I will assign the same material as the standing seam. So if I do a search for aluminum, you can see it's now copied into my project right there. Double click, hit apply, okay. Now suddenly the roof becomes red, the standing seams are red. These all look like they belong together. Obviously, because this is a standing seam metal roof that's built on the curtain wall system, all of these tools are available, as well as these tools here, to manipulate the spacing of the mullions and make some adjustments to the design. You can move the individual vertical mullions. You can uh, decide where to begin the pattern, so on and so forth. I would uh, research how to manipulate curtain wall systems to make that happen. But for the time being, here's the completed product. That's it for now.